What's up, guys? Another part of the uh, Cradle series. Uh, we're not going to get too much into submissions just yet. We're just going to concentrate on the position and breaking him down to his side. Um, I want to get my opponent, whether I'm on his back or the front side, broken down to his shoulder and his, and his hip in the cradle uh, to open up submissions. And he's, he's less obviously move, moving. He's on his knees and stuff. So like for butterfly, I, I, there's a lot of people that teach this. This is obviously a common one to get people started. But I don't like teaching the beginners to reach over the head. That, that causes a bad habit, standing it on the ground. So I want to pocket. So I collar tie him and I pocket his head into my armpit. Like, boom. If you look into my guillotine series, I do this a lot standing too. Even if I'm like messing with collar tie and wrist or anything, I do it the same side. I'm like, boom, like that. Or I'm going to pocket it to the other side. If I distract his hand, he can't block my right arm, right? So if I go, right, now I can connect over the other side. I have S grip. I like to S grip like this. You can gable grip too. I feel strong squeezing like that in the gable grip. I like to just tighten. Some people like to gable grip. Not taking that away from me. I'm just doing it this way. So I'm over the top and I go under his leg and I squeeze. If I were to go the other side, I'm over the top this way. I come around and then I squeeze my hands together. I'm going to start to get on my toes and then I'm going to swivel him, put him on his ribs. Watch. And I turn on my side and I walk and I get my knee underneath his knees like this, underneath his knee. And now I can let go and then I get my underhook. And now I can turn into side control or how to guillotine. Show again. So I'm here, I pocket the head, I reach underneath, pulse, and also so he can't hook my leg. I don't pulse like this, see, because it'll hook. Right? I pull out, so I turn, swivel, and then I start laying on his head, and I walk underneath his leg, underneath his leg, and then I flat my hand out. Like a guillotine, like I'm doing a cow catcher guillotine. I can go into a cow catcher, but if he has his underhook here, give me your leg again, bud. I don't want to turn on my knees. Sorry. I don't want to turn on my knees and then let go because he'll have the underhook and he's starting to get up already. So I got to make sure, up again, bud. I got to make sure that when I'm here, right, and I want to go for that. Get, keep your underhook a little more, bud. There you go. So like I want to go for my underhook. I don't do it on my knees, I do it on my, on my side. Try and get up here, it makes them harder. I can swivel. Now I have the cow catcher, I can step into the mount, whatever the case may be, okay? I can easily come over into a one arm guillotine. Okay, last time, I'm here. Oop, bang, around the corner, turn them. Right on me. Flatten my hand, I can step. All right, so now he puts his hand on the mat. Watch this. I'm here, bang. I go to swivel him, he puts his hand on the mat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my head down over here and cartwheel over to the other side and then I roll right into that same spot underneath his arms, you see? Underneath here, if I wanna pass or I keep him cradled and I stay and then I can come up into side control, the underhook, his leg locks, whatever the case may be. Or just heading on side. Again, I'm here. And his arms are up, right? I pocket his head. I get around his, his body over here. I go to rotate him. He puts his other hand on the mat. So I can't make him go that way. I put my head down. I arch. And I come over. Run towards him. Get underneath his leg, flatten my hand out. I can gain the underhook if I want, or I can step into the mount and choke him. Good to go.